But you weren't in Metro, were you? I mean, not yet, anyway. And that's why you're upset? I want to know where you were. I want to know what you were doing. I want to know why he lied about it. I went to see Will. You what? I know, I know. He's not allowed family visits yet. But Walker has a friend who works at the hospital. And so I went into an observation room. I watched him from behind a one-way mirror. He didn't even know I was there. How do you look? Vacant. Lonely. Very lost. I mean, I don't know if it was better for me <clears throat> that I saw it right. or worse. Yeah, we're, we're losing our way here. Why did you give Jordan Sinclair authority to make purchases on your behalf at BRO? How do you know about that? It's my company. I make a point of knowing when somebody's trying to take it away from me. I'm not trying to do that. Sure you are. I mean, yeah, working with me was fun for a while, but now you'd rather work with somebody that you can control. Paul, you are my son. You have my commitment. <laughs> you have been married I don't even know how many times. Well, you, you say that you love your children, and then... You refuse to see them. I don't think commitment means a whole lot to you. Wait, stop right now. You don't even know what you're talking about. Everything I have done has been for my children. Okay, maybe I should have told you that I was planning to go see Will. Maybe it wasn't very smart of me to hire Carly it's without smart discussing to sign with documents you first. give Jordan Sinclair secret powers? Wait a second. I was trying to save time. We have a deadline. I was trying to cut out the red tape. Paul, honey, you and I built BRO. We can do it again. It's possible. We just have to work very, very hard and make sure that this show in Las Vegas is the biggest success that BRO has ever had, and then these problems are going to disappear. Yeah. a bad time? Getting there, yeah. Uh, look, I realize that we, we haven't spoken since I started at BRO. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm looking for Barbara. Well, you came to the right place. Yeah. Oh. Mommy, your resident genius is here. Hi, Carly. I assume this is about business? Yeah, yeah. I just heard about an opportunity, which I thought is very exciting. I, I, of course, I can't approve of it myself. Right, so you decided to go right around me and straight to Barbara. No, Paul, that's not what I was thinking at all. You know, maybe we should discuss this in the morning, Carly. Mm, I want to hear this great idea. You know, both of us here together. You and me, Barbara, just like old times. Only different. I wants to sponsor the show? She felt an influx of cash would push us over the top. Well, that goes without saying, but... Why does she give a damn about our success? Well, people who follow fashion shows also buy cars. And, of course, she wants the Cabot Motors logo on the stage and on the program. Of course, but there are a lot of other tie-ins that will give her just as much publicity. Well, all right, she, she does have an ulterior motive. I'm shocked. She wants the show to do well because she wants lots of people to see my designs. Well, nominate her for sibling of the year. There's just uh, one small catch. There's a guy in the publicity department at Cabot Motors who has sort of a, a thing for Jennifer. He's seen her model a couple of times. He's got a picture of her in his office. Oh. <laughs> uh, Rosanna thinks that it might be a good idea if she is the contact at BRO. Well, that will work. I'm sure Jen will do her part. Really? I mean, she'd have to fly to Detroit tomorrow. And, and she might have to stay for a couple of days, and, of course, there might be trips down the road. Well, you know, Jen has been in Oakdale for months now. I'm sure a change of scenery would do her well. So you'll make sure she says yes? I will get right on it. In fact, you know, I'm going to have to call Rosanna right now and thank her, unless you think it's too late for me to call. I do, I do think that it's too late. Why don't you wait till the morning? I will do that, and I'll send her out a basket of muffins, and you don't need to worry about anything. You know that, Carly? I knew that hiring you was a smart idea. I just didn't know how right I was. <laughs> oh, I guess um, I should be going yeah, to. Uh, not so fast. Sage is feeling a it's little under the so weather. It'll only take a second. I, I, you have to help me. 
How? I'm really confused. I mean, I, so much has happened so quickly, and I just feel like I've lost control of everything. Well, tell me what's wrong. I know that you backed out of our plan to force Barbara out of BRO. Yes, I explained that. Right, Rosanna didn't want you to have anything to do with me. Right. Right, I, I can see how this must look to can you. Can I finish? I... Sure, go ahead. Because then all of a sudden, my mother offers you a job, and surprise of all surprises, you accept, without even mentioning it to me. I know, I'm sorry. It, you should have heard it from me. And then all of a sudden, Rosanna decides that she wants to fund the, the Vegas show for BRO because she wants my company to do well. I mean, you can see why this would mess with my head a little bit. Can't you see that, Carly? Yeah, just, you have to believe me when I tell you that this is all happening for a very, very good reason. A good reason for who? Rosanna? Who would like nothing better than to see me run over by one of her overpriced cars? No, <laughs> no. Her decision has nothing to do with you at She's all. She's trying to destroy me. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to figure oh, it out. And when I'm I figure go. it out, Carly, okay, I have no, to go. she's using okay. you somehow. And you, you're, you're just letting her do it. is back on top and to Rosanna Cabot and Cabot Motors for their generous sponsorship and to the man who has stood beside me through all of this the man who is really responsible Jordan Sinclair you did this to me that's right and you deserve so much worse you always underestimate me Paul and you always lose in the end Carly I don't want to hear it. But I wanted to give all of this to you. Rosanna and Barbara made me a better offer. Did you really believe that I wouldn't see through your plan? Did you really think you could take my company away from it me? It should have worked. You'll never learn, will you, Pink? This can't be happening. This, this isn't happening. You're a loser. And this time, you've lost it all. You're through at BRO. Jordan, the press wants to talk to you. Of course they do. Where are you going? You can't do this to me! I won't let this happen! 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 Do you think maybe this could wait until morning? Not so long ago, Rosanna threatened to disown you if you had anything to do with BRO. And now all of a sudden, she's not only encouraging you to be part of the company, but Cabin Motors is sponsoring our next fashion show in Las Vegas. True or false? It's true. And my mother's new best friend, her right-hand man, is getting very cozy with my former best friend, Rosanna. All in secret, of course. I don't think it's in true secret. True or false? Uh, well, that's true, I suppose. And then out of the blue, Jennifer gets called for some mysterious meeting at Cabot headquarters. All because of Rosanna's generosity. What exactly do you want from me? I want to know what you and your sister are planning, Carly. And I want to know when it's all going to blow up in my face. You need a shrink to help you get over your acute paranoia. I have every reason to be paranoid. Every time I turn a corner, somebody else is messing with my head. But I never thought it would be you, Carly. I never thought that you would join forces with Rosanna. She's my sister. We love each other. We want the best for each other. We would do almost anything for each other, but that doesn't mean that we're plotting against you, Paul. Right. There's no conspiracy. Okay. Well, how many times do I have to explain this to you? Look, this is what happened. You and I were working together, and Rosanna freaked out. She just couldn't stomach the idea of me going into business with one of the two people she despises most on this planet. She made me choose. I chose her. But by the time Barbara offered me the job at BRO, Rosanna had calmed down. She realized all the work that I put into my designs. She, she knew what this opportunity would mean to me, so she thought it would be okay if I partnered up with Barbara. None of this has anything to do with you. Okay, now convince me that my mother doesn't have an agenda because I know that her and Jordan Sinclair are up to something. I can smell it. I've been through this before, so I know all of the signs, all the lies, all the sneaking around, all the conversations and stuff the second that I walk into a room. I think 